Kora everyone and welcome back to this second playthrough of Cat Lady, well playthrough slash ramble video. So a couple of things before we start. I realized that the record button was visible in my last video so I have removed it, learned something new which is great. Uh, I also said that the sound effects were on. They were on for me just not on for the viewer. Uh, but I think I'm going to keep it like that because I just kind of feel like it's going to be distracting if I have the sound effects on while I'm talking. So that's that. Uh, the last thing is, so if you haven't played Cat Lady before, there are a couple of options. I did the walkthrough of the tutorial within the game. And I, I didn't think it would take that long. However, uh, I think it probably end up being, ended up being approximately 20 minutes. So if you don't have the patience for that, I can totally understand. I think there's definitely a bunch of other videos on YouTube that go through the rules in a more condensed format. So that might be your preference, which makes sense because... I was hoping it would only take me 10 minutes max, but uh, no, it was very, uh, very time consuming. So, okay, with all that out the way, let's just get straight on into it. Once again, I'm going to do two player, although I might switch it up. Maybe in this video I'll do uh, three player as well. We will see. Now the other thing I'm going to do is move my face because actually, hmm, because the problem is um, these buttons and the toggles here for Loom um, probably a little bit too close together. So I'm going to move my face. Give me two seconds. Okay, I acknowledge that this isn't ideal, um, kind of awkwardly. In the middle here but it's the only place I can have my face that isn't covering any of the gameplay so it'll have to do. Hello Kitty. I think um my cat is hungry. What's the time? Is it dinner time? Mm, not yet. You can wait. Anyways. Uh, okay. So I have some notes as well because I wasn't really prepared last time and trying to play and ramble at the same time, it did end up being a little bit of a challenge. But first up, let's see which cats we have. Ooh, is that gonna be in the way? Oh no, okay. Antoinette, so. More points for white cats, points for toys. Okay, waffle is a good one. Hmm, I might go for waffle. We shall see. Yeah, so I suppose where to start. Um, so I did mention in my last video that I had been doing a lot of decluttering. And one of the areas in particular was, well still is, I've made a lot of progress but there's still much to do, uh, was slash is the pantry because I was getting a super duper annoyed at um, at trying to get something out of the pantry you know it should be a pretty simple task however uh, I feel like every time I tried to go into the pantry to grab something 10 more things would come flying out onto the floor and it just Oh, it's a pet peeve of mine. It really, I really, really, really is. So, uh, yeah, that's just, it's just been, oh, I think my face is frozen. And there's the cat. So, <laughs> you might be able to see there's Khajiit who's just disappeared behind my head. Uh, we have a, a pool table there. And... Currently it's covered, well currently and always, it's covered with a blanket because the cats, they just, 
they love sitting there, a nice place for them to sit. So he's probably just going to make himself comfortable. So that's fine. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I mean, it's, it's almost a bit, oh, see my face is freezing again. It's probably going to be how it is. That's fine. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's probably one of those things I'm doing as a little bit of a distraction because it's, it's not a priority. You know, if I'm being honest with myself, it is not a priority to clean the pantry. Um, but it's just something that I wanted to do because it was really bugging me. And now let me just refresh my memory on what waffle was. Four food of one type of food. Okay, so I need to start hoarding one type of food. All right, we'll see how we go. Um, and my old room, that is another space that I've been tidying. And I just feel like I can never really get to the bottom of it, you know? It's the analogy I would use is it's kind of like when you're eating a bowl of pasta and and you feel like, well not just that you feel like, but you have eaten a whole heap of pasta, but there's still lots of pasta in the bowl. Um, that I feel like that would be uh, the best way for me to describe that. Uh, hmm, I don't really know what to... Oh, you know what? We'll just feed one cat with one milk. Oh, and I got the wild. This is so satisfying when everyone gets fed, so I'll feed you that. Ooh, and I won by a long shot. So that's cool. I know my face is kind of in the way here, but if I keep moving it, it's going to be very glitchy and slow. Uh, yeah, so I mean, um, with all that decluttering, so there's sort of, uh, I guess, a few different piles that things would go into. Um, so one would be donations, one would be selling stuff on Trade Me, and the other that I'm not super stoked about would be throwing things out because I just, I really hate waste. So it's something I want to avoid if I can. Um, but you know, sometimes it is inevitable, unfortunately. I really want to get lost cat posters because, as I discussed last time, cow is a great card. Cow is a very overpowered card. So I think probably we're just going to get cow and then we're going to hoard a whole bunch of food. Alrighty, Roo. And yeah, I've sold a bunch of stuff on Trade Me, which I'm really happy about. And... I've sold, man, I'm really slow and glitchy this time around. I don't remember this being the case last time. Hmm. Oh, well, I guess it is what it is. Um, and then I was also recommended to, uh, you know, have a go at selling on Facebook Marketplace, which I was. A wee bit skeptical about, but I must say, I think I have sold three board games so far, which I'm quite happy about. Because again, something I said last time is I can purchase my fave games, um, you know, once I move. And I just, it's a bit of a shame because when I was listing the items, it was quite sad to see that I would say something like, oh, you know, 
okay, like a bunch of them, I would say, this has never been opened, never been played. And then most of the other games I had played them, I don't know, maybe once or twice before. So, you know, that's something I would really like to be able to change is to be more social, go out and meet people and do things, uh, which I'm sure will be doable. Uh, but I think, you know what, I'm getting ahead to another topic that I want to discuss, so I'm not going to go there right now. Um, what else? What else do I have on my list? Oh my gosh, yeah. So I guess going back to the whole donation thing, I... It's an interesting one because so on because what day is it? It's Monday. So it's Monday when I'm filming this and I plan to go to the op shops on Friday. My hope is that they're taking stuff. Uh, yes, I won again by a landslide. But yeah, the thing is they might not be. Uh, I think there was one time I went before and they said, sorry, we're not taking anything. But I have so many clothes. I did several loads of laundry. I have a bunch of clothes I want to donate. So, I don't know. I guess we'll see. Fingers crossed. Uh, okay. So the other thing I wanted to do is I wanted to line up the things I'm rambling about with the games that I'm playing. Uh, the reason being because, uh, yeah, Little Timmy. Let's play against Little Timmy. The reason being because one of the cool things I think YouTube has introduced is timestamps. I think that's so great. And it's something I've been utilizing a fair bit. So, uh, I just thought, you know, if, if someone wanted to skip to a certain game or a certain thing, or even, you know, even just, I feel not even for other people, but I feel even just for my personal reference, if there's ever something I want to, um, get back to, refer back to for whatever, for whatever the reason might be. It's just really helpful having things cut up into chunks, you know? Uh, so what are we doing? What are we going for? So we've got two wild food. Mm, well, I collected a few toys. Maybe I'll just adopt Penny. Uh, I kind of want to get the catnip though. Let's do this, okay. So I guess the next thing on my list is, yes, Melbourne. There is a lot of stuff that I'm still getting sorted, but I am getting there slowly but surely. And something I did mention actually in my previous video, but I don't think I worded it that well, is, you know, uh, when it comes to dietary requirements, and everything like that. Oh my gosh, wait. I thought, okay, so I think it was just a glitch in the game, but I thought I could see like a couple of little black spots as though the tuna cans were open. Am I, am I, I don't think I'm imagining things. You know what, I don't know. <laughs> Here's me getting easily distracted. Um, but yes, I was, I was just having this big, long uh, ramble about the current dietary restrictions I'm on to help heal my skin. Although I will say, uh, my skin is taking the longest to show improvements, but there are some other things that, oh my gosh, have just been excellent. For example... I used to have this thing where I would, um, 
I would just get really congested. Um, I mean, both my chest and, you know, sinus, everything like that. It was really unpleasant and uh, not nice to listen to, I imagine. It just, it honestly got to the point where it was really, um, it was really affecting, like having a huge impact on my day-to-day -day activities. Uh, it would disrupt my sleep as well because I'd just be, you know, consistently blowing my nose. It was just not, not pleasant, not a good time. And, you know, when it comes to filming videos, that was another thing that I found was, oh, dang it, <laughs> I should have got some more cats. Oh, well, I didn't lose by that much. Uh, but yeah, being really congested and uh, just, I, I hated, I mean, this, this was kind of another contributing factor to uh, why it would take me so long to edit videos, because among other things, I would constantly be, you know, clearing my throat. Constantly having to edit out me going, <coughs> like, it was very unattractive. Very unattractive indeed. So, yeah. Um, so, honestly, that, that has been, that's just made a huge difference. Um, but, I mean, yeah, it, it's definitely been quite challenging uh, there's a lot of stuff I mean it's an interesting thing because it's, it's it's been a challenge but then there's also been something that's kind of exciting about it as well because I have to be innovative and really thoughtful about what I eat um I don't even think I addressed the thing that I, I was going to start talking about Melbourne and all my planning and then I diverted into all this dietary stuff. But uh, if I haven't addressed it already, because already my mind is drawing a blank, there's just, there's more of a demand. That was the word that I was trying to think of in my last video, but for some reason it just um, completely went out of my head. There's more of a, a demand for really good foods, good vegan food, good healthy food, uh, a lot of food that caters to different dietary requirements. So that is something I am super, super stoked about, very excited about. And yes, so yeah, really, I've just, I've just found that, you know, I have more energy uh, and there are definitely other things. I am drawing a blank right now, but, you know, with me kind of pursuing this uh, more healthy kind of lifestyle, it's, it's only going to be good because I guess as another example is uh, I'm just, I'm quite a sugar fiend. I still am, uh, to some degree, definitely not as bad as I was. Oh, do you know what? It's funny. As I started talking, a lot of things are coming to me. So, yes, so I would just have so, 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 so much sugar, which would end up leading to a lot of acid reflux. Um, and then, of course, you know, it's not great for your teeth. I don't have the best teeth, so... It's, it's extra important for me to take care of them. And I was really excited when I went to the dentist the other day because they said, oh, cool, yep, taking good care of your teeth, um, off you go. And I was like, great. I mean, it was because it had been, what, I think like two years since my last dentist appointment, which I know is probably you know, for some people, I don't know, maybe that's pretty standard, but for me, I definitely should be going, um, every, yes, I won again, 
but yeah, for me, I definitely should be going every every year just because that man, I just have in terms of my teeth and all the things all. I could make a whole video about all the nonsense that has happened with my teeth over the years. So many things. It's just it's it's been a journey. That's what I'll that's what I'll say. It's been quite a journey. Uh, so definitely, cutting down on the sugar has been really good for that. Um, yeah, that actually wasn't one of the things I had written down, but that is. Uh, Alas, that is where my mind went, so I just kind of followed through. Right, a -roo. What we might do for this next one, we might do three player, which I do find a bit more challenging. Because, you know, it's a bit more difficult to hoard resources uh, the more players you have. But I think when we do have a few more players, there's a few more cards. So there might be some other cards that come up that you haven't seen before because they've only been playing two player. So, right, costume. Da, 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 da. Okay. I think we'll do this. So, yes, back to Melbourne. I am, uh, you know, slowly but surely getting things sorted uh i've just written down a big list getting all that kind of admin -y stuff out the way uh oh now we haven't seen alvin it's with one point for each orange cat you feed so the only other orange cat is waffle that i can see but let's maybe do that let's adopt you waffle and we'll get Alvin. I really like Alvin's stripes. They're really cute. But it's it's certainly a lot to think about. I've I've got my plane ticket sorted, which I think I might have mentioned last time. Uh, going on the first of January, which is just you know it's it's very symbolic. You know, new year, new adventure. I am very 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 very. very very excited. Um, I, I'm already finding that I'm feeling a little bit restless. Like I just wanna, just wanna get out and explore somewhere new. Now, what about you, Dinah? One point for each white cat. Well, I don't have a lot of food at the moment, so I don't really want to be hoarding too many cats. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Just do this. I don't know. Yes, and I've got some temporary accommodation sorted, which um, is good. I think it's probably going to do it for about. Uh, uh, yeah, I think I've got it. Dang it! <laughs> I wanted that chicken. That's okay. I can take this. So we've got accommodation sorted for. Uh, yeah, I think it was five weeks I went for, and my hope is that within that time, you know, I can find something more permanent, find some work. Speaking of work, that has been a bit of a, a challenge, a bit of a challenge, because, um, I, uh, I have applied for a couple of jobs, but a few people have said to me, and I think they are correct, that it's probably going to be easier to find work, um, get something secured once I move. So, yeah, it, it is one of those things where I'm like, okay, well, you know, do... Dang it, there were two costumes there. That would have been amazing. Oh, darn. Now, I can't remember if I can feed. I don't. Can I feed in the wild? No. Oh, whoops. I compl I thought this was a different one. I was completely on another path. Whoops. Silly me. All right, second. That's, that's okay. <laughs> 
Yeah, so I think, I don't know, I'll... I, it's an interesting one because I sort of think, okay, do I, uh, do I direct some of my energy into applying for jobs or in this last month-ish that I'm at home, do I just focus that energy elsewhere? I don't know. But I do have to say, uh, it hasn't been for nothing because I really, you know, I did need to update my CV. So that is, that is done, which is good. Something I needed to do regardless. So, you know, a one more thing ticked off the list. And another thing I was looking at is, um, I don't have that much left on my student loan. And I wasn't sure, you know, okay, do I just make payments when I'm over there? Or do I just pay it off before I go? I did send a query to Inland Revenue and got a big long message back uh, with much, much jargon about, you know, because that's what I was wondering, what are my repayment obligations? What do I need to do? Tell me what I need to do. Um, and I kind of feel like... I'm probably going to pay it off before I go. I think that's going to be the plan. Because... Um, it's just it's just one less thing to worry about, you know. I think that would be that would be good. Would be the way to go. Uh, ooh, ooh, Antoinette. Now I only have one other white cat, but you know I may as well. May as well get Antoinette, and we can. Sometimes I feel like with these games, it's a good strategy to um, get cards, not necessarily because you want them but just so that the other players <laughs> don't get them. Uh, so yes, that's another, another strategy. Um, yes, yes, but you know, I'm... Uh, what's the last one I'm going to get? You know what? Catnip. That's always the good one to collect. I will get into that. And then we'll be good. Dang it. There's this cat showing up that eat tuna. I had all this tuna. Ooh. And it's 25, so I just, just barely, just barely second. Very close to first. Yeah, so I think, you know, definitely getting there, kind of looking up um, travel insurance options because I just want to make sure I'm all, all covered. Um, but getting there. I'm just really excited to move. I want to go. I want to go right now. Um, okay. Three player again. Who haven't we played with? Not that it, I don't know, really matters all that much. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so I guess like the last thing on my list because uh, you know still at home at the moment and there's you know I think part of the reason I wanted to stay or wanted to stay until the end of the year rather is because um, there was just you know a few things I wanted to tick off the list um, a few things I just wanted to, just stuff that I wanted to do, but I hadn't really had the, the time or energy to do when I was still working. So the cleanup is, you know, a great example. Oh no, they got two catnips. Ooh, that's okay. And... Uh, 
what was I even saying? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, you know, I guess, so basically I finished up at work, mm, gosh, when was it? Yeah, end of October, that's what it was, already forgetting. Um, and because the thing is, I could have worked right up until the end of the year, but I I don't have any regrets about my decision. I think it was a good one because I just, sorry, Khajiita's just shuffling about, <laughs> getting himself comfortable. Yeah, just I wanted some time and space to get things done, you know, because I wanted to just focus on work, getting things tidied up at work, and then have some, have some time to, you know, get all the admin stuff sorted for Australia, and also just just have some time to myself as well, you know, because something I was reflecting on is the fact that, um, you know, I mean, so right now, for example, uh, mum's away on holiday, dad's at work, so I have the house all to myself, and I don't know what that's going to look like when I get to Melbourne. Um, and I will say, ideally, I would like to be in a space all on my own. But realistically, that's something that is just, it's just not going to happen, you know? Um, I mean, maybe it could. But from what I have heard, um, dang it, came last. I thought I was doing really well collecting all things, but apparently not. Ah, well, not behind them by that much. Uh, but yeah, I just... Because I've, I've had a lot of experience flatting. And... Uh, it's just, it can make some things easier, you know, I... Well, it's, it's, I guess it's beneficial for some reasons. For example, it is more inexpensive. That's definitely one of the big things, especially with rising living costs. So, you know, and yeah, rentals can be very competitive. This is something that I have heard time and time again. So I think flatting initially is just going to be best. And, you know, I think living with people who you know, maybe have been in Melbourne for some time. They can give you some pointers. Having that connection, starting to build those, um, yeah, starting to build those uh, communities and connections is just something I really want to make sure that I do. Um, okay. Hopefully I can get enough food to feed all these cats. I hope this wasn't a mistake. Uh, but yes, you know, certainly those are some of the benefits. Uh, but I just, you know, I really like having my own space. Um, I'm one of those people where I really don't like it when someone else is in the kitchen with me. And I have to say, I think that's uh, why... I ended up getting takeout a lot, especially when I lived in Wellington. That's something I remember specifically because I was like, oh, I just don't want to deal with everyone else in the kitchen. Um, but of course, now with all my dietary requirements, it's not as easy to get takeout. And nor do I want to do that because, man, there were times where I was getting Burger King sometimes like every day for a week. And it's just... It's not good. It's not ideal. <laughs> so, yeah, I just, um, dang it, I should have got this row. Clearly I'm not thinking. Okay, wait. Before I start talking again, I need a chicken, a chicken, a milk and a tuna. Okay. This row is as good as any.
But this is this is just something that I have struggled with is yeah, wanting my own space. But you know, I feel like I would say just consistently feeling environments consistently feeling emotionally claustrophobic um as well as sometimes physically uh so i don't know i yeah i mean i just i i really want to enjoy this time by myself while i can and and my hope is I need another chicken. I kind of feel like getting a black cat bow would be good. What else? <laughs> Going silent thinking of what else I want to talk about. But yeah, I think it's just one of those things where I'm just, I, noise, I can't handle it. Um, and so I'm really, 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 really hoping that when I move to a new space in Melbourne, wherever that might be, uh, yeah, I'm just hoping that it's a quiet space, somewhere in the burbs where there's not constant partying and construction Oh, did, oh, well, I came second, that's okay. Yeah, and just various, various other loud intrusions, because it's just, you know, I'm 30 years old. I just, I just, I want to get to the point where I can be in a space where I am, I don't know, where I can just, where I can just have my needs met. And, you know, because I don't want to be going around from place to place to place and having the, the same cruddy experiences that I was having um, at a number of other um, flatting situations that I had. Because, as an example, there was one place I lived, uh, one place I lived, the neighbours were partying all the time. One time they were going until 4 a.m. Uh, I think there was even at one point they were throwing bottles over the fence and there was crushed glass everywhere. So, you know, kind of a health and safety issue, not ideal. Anyways, okay, I actually don't know how long this video has been going. Hold up. Let me move my face. Okay, always have to wait a second because there's a bit of a delay every time I move my face. But I think I will end things there because I have been rambling for quite some time. Played a number of number of rounds of Cat Lady. I do really enjoy this game. It's just um, sometimes it's just a nice evening activity where I just sit down and play a few rounds. I, I think I did mention this in my other video, but I do plan to Maybe play, do a walkthrough slash ramble, but with another game. So Splendor, for example. I have that on my Steam account, so I think I just need to reinstall it. But yeah, I think I will finish things there. have no idea how long I have been talking. I know that the last video was 50 minutes. Hopefully this one won't be as long, but if it is, I guess that's just how it is. <laughs> and yeah, I... It's interesting, there were some videos, um, initially, even like a couple of weeks back, I'd noted down maybe, I don't know, two or three videos, but I have a number of other videos that I want to do, so I'm going to see how many I can do before the end of the year, because I've just, I've really, I've really, really enjoyed making videos again, uh, I didn't really make any for a number of months this year which makes me really sad I really missed it so very happy to be back um, really keen to be making some more videos and yes we will finish things up there I hope you enjoyed this playthrough and 
and I will see you next time. Okay, bye.